Hello everybody, welcome back to Zero Tolerance TV. ZT here as always, and this is going to be the beginning of Group A. So we did Group B first for this OSL, because reasons. <laughs> that's how the playlist was ordered. Don't ask why, but that's what it is. Uh, this is going to be, what is it? Odyssey? I don't know, it's Odyssey but spelled weird, so I'm, I'm just gonna go with Odyssey. Not gonna... It looks like Odyssey or something, but nah, dude, it's Odyssey, because I say so. And Jinnam, I have no idea who is who, but I'm pretty sure Jinnam is a Zerg player, so... We will, uh, we'll see who's who when the, uh, thinger comes up. You know, like the pre-game screen. That has names with races next to them. Thankfully, that is in English. Uh, yeah, Jinnam is Zerg. And I guess Odyssey is going on Kazama. And it is a Terran player. So Terran for Zerg, pretty great. Probably the best matchup, but you never know. So Jinnam, blue Zerg down here in the bottom left. This is... Oh, I read the name right before. Uh... <laughs> It's Neo something. <laughs> new season, new maps. Uh, confused ZT is how that works. So, it's quite a few mineral patches. Five, six, seven, eight. It's ten mineral patches with one gas in the main. It's quite a few. Definitely more than you'd see now, I think. It's usually like eight, maybe. I don't know, man. I don't remember. I miss ASL. I just want it back. I think the new season is starting soon, and pretty excitingly, Jadong and Bisu both qualified, so that's pretty sick. Um, Bisu, I think Bisu was in the last season, or maybe it was the season before, and he he did well, but not crazy well. So this does look like a four-player map. Yeah. Interesting. So looks like there's a mineral only. That's the easiest base to take, and then up on a high ground above the mains, there's a gas base, so interesting. Uh, very narrow corridors, so it's going to be tough to get, like, links around here, but Zerg can abuse that stuff, too. I mean, Mutalisks from high ground are pretty scary. So we'll have to see what the plan here for Jinnam is. I don't think it's just going to be a bunch of Zerg links, but you never know, man. <laughs> This is like 2003 StarCraft. They can do whatever the hell they want. <laughs> or is it 2002? I can't remember what year this was. It was a while ago. That's what it was. So pool finished and still no gas for Jin Nem. I imagine we're going to see probably a hatchery soon. If not in base or in main, maybe out of that mineral only. Oh, you know what? This drone is scouting. Never mind. I lied. <laughs> For a moment, I looked at the map and saw something running up to, uh, like, the gas base. But that's an overlord. So, Lings did pop here. Drone finds where uh, Odyssey is, but is just going to run away. So, doesn't look like he cares too much about what's going on. Actually, this is a gas base. So, this is, this is great for Zerg. Uh, I thought that would be a mineral only, but it's actually a low mineral base with gas. So... That is like the ideal base for Zerg. I'm sure they were very happy to see that. Bunker building. So these sixlings are pretty unlikely to really get any good damage done, but maybe they can find an edge or two to scrape off. We'll see. Marines are in production already. That first Marine, I believe, is popped. Uh, I, I believe it's the first Marine. And yeah, look, there's a depot here that these links can attack. Uh, oh, got a micro your marine. Losing that marine would be really bad for uh, oh, Odyssey. There we go. I don't remember his name. Two more links coming in here, but a second marine pops. So I think it looks like this depot. Yeah, the depot does die, but oh, as long as he doesn't get surrounded, he should be fine and some decent enough micro. Don't want to be losing SCVs here. First marine dies, but another zergling is killed. I mean, so far these links have definitely been worth it. Worth it. Killing. The depot is like four lings worth of minerals, and then obviously got a marine as well. Some damage on that other marine, and still only four of the zerglings have actually died, so 
Pretty good value for these Lings. He's going to be able to keep scouting with them. Maybe pick off an SCV if he's lucky. No, going after the Marine and actually getting it plus the SCV. Oof, Jinam is really just working over Odyssey right now with this micro. It looked okay at first. Another SCV dies, but really this has just not been well held. I think this bunker probably could have been further east. Um... Yeah, you gotta have good SimCity against Zerg, and this just is not what we had here. Actually, another SCV about to die, I think, but no. The Lings do pull off, and there we go, now killing it. I thought there was, like, one or two hits left on that thing. Uh, the other Lings are gonna get hunted down, and by that, I mean two of them will escape. But it looks like this pressure is over. But in the meantime, I mean, you know, Jinnam did not commit a ton to that. That was eight Zerglings. He killed multiple SCVs, I think... Maybe even three SCVs, two Marines, and a boat depot. Like, it's very good value for eight Zerglings, only six of which actually died. Odyssey has been tacking up, though. Factory is finished and floating, so we see the star port was the actual goal here. And at the same time, Spire started for Jinnam. So I think he's going to go into those mutas and try to abuse these ledges that makes a lot of sense this base here is done and the gas is about to be active so he's gonna have a really good income odyssey does get a good scout here so he knows what's coming but the question is will he really be able to do anything about it starport's almost done but really you know you, you can't make obviously you need an armory to make valkyries anyway but they kind of suck at this point because they just won't shoot if there's too much stuff on screen valkyries won't shoot at this point in starcraft it's actually a pretty recent thing that was changed with Remastered, so... <laughs> kind of rough for Terrans. They're, really, their best option is just to get those science or, uh, science vessels out. And that is the science facility started, so it does look like it is going to be... Uh, science vessels as the answer to Mutas. And a little force of Marines with one medic moving out. Maybe just to secure that, Marine, or that uh, SCV... I like what Odyssey did with his factory, just making this one vulture, and very nice for him that he can harass a little bit. Uh, drone kills are pretty good for Terran. Definitely more relevant than killing, you know, one drone means more than one SCV for sure, so a little bit of back harassment is very nice for him. And a second vulture is going to help a lot. A second drone goes down there, actually getting some real damage done with just one vulture, so... Definitely worth doing. Not even, you know, just killing the drones, which is obviously great, but denying mining from those patches made Zerg saturation a little worse. So nice. Definitely a very well worth it uh, vulture here. Mutas have now popped, though, and they will kill that off. And now it looks like they're going to move up north to possibly get some harassment done. <laughs> Looked like six or seven mutas. Not a crazy number, but definitely uh, going to be an annoyance for uh, Odyssey. He's got Science Vessel in production, it looks like, and Irradiate. I imagine that is what that uh, was researching. So these mutas aren't going to be around forever. Like They will have the answer pretty quickly here. And decent turret placement, but it's going to be tough for those SCVs to actually repair it. So... Looks like it probably will go down, yes, and the turret is targeted. Muta's now even going after some SCVs. They got one there, and still no Muta's dead, so good harassment. They're going to go after the factory a bit, but that's not really going to matter. And is Irradiate done? It doesn't look like it. I imagine an Irradiate would have gone off there if it could have. So Muta's kind of being stagnant a little bit, picking up another SCV while it builds that turret now. And going to maybe pick off more. The turret actually does finish just in time. So it is going to be able to push these mutas back. That's pretty good for Odyssey. But really this game has just been not going his way for a while. Not really able to pressure Jinnam at all. Jinnam now has mutas out without a good answer. Finished. Now already it's going to be done pretty soon. But... It starts to look bad when Zerg has this much space to work with. Hydra's popping out now. have to think that he's going to be going for Lurkers here. And I think I saw that the Science Vessel wasn't blinking anymore, so I believe our idiot is done. Dropping some Marines up on the high ground to try to kill off this Overlord. Now, they are going to get it. 
But it looks like a few Marines went down as well. Not a huge deal. Marines are pretty cheap. Eh, Overlord's definitely worth more than Marines. <laughs> Saw a couple Scourge there, probably just trying to pick off the shuttle. And another Vulture harassing. He has no kills yet. There's the first one, so one drone. Honestly, all you really need to make it worth it. Ooh, and he actually gets a second there, so... Two drone kills for one Vulture. Definitely worth it. So, a nice little play there for Odyssey. Jinnam taking his third, though. And this is really what is worrisome about this game for Odyssey. Just hasn't really been in a position to pressure Jinnam at all. And as a result, Jinnam's going to have three gas soon, while Odyssey's just still on his one base. Tank's popping out now. I wonder if his plan is just to try to kill him with one base here. It wouldn't really surprise me. I will have tanks for these lurkers, so there's going to be an answer. Uh, but he needs to make sure they don't get killed by mutas. That one marine dead there. Surprised we haven't even really seen an Aradia go off yet. But Jinnam has been pretty careful with his mutas. He pretty clearly doesn't want them to all die to two irradiates, so... He's been a little more careful. More marines getting dropped up on this high ground, too. Oh, okay, so I think his plan is to get tanks set up behind the main. Nice irradiate there on some of those mutas, but a good split, saving all but one. Just the irradiated muta will die. And another good irradiate there on the pack, and much worse splitting this time. I would actually say that was pretty bad splitting, ultimately. I think only three mutas are left. Now, there are some lurkers here, but scouted by the SCV, so shouldn't really surprise odyssey too much here he needs to get his tank sieged up in range to push those lurkers back and now after those two irradiates it's gonna be tough for the mutas to do much but more lurkers running in here trying to get the burrow down and they actually do before the marines can kill them off uh, this is such a tight quarter it's tough to fight lurkers in this sort of space and the scourge are gonna connect on that science vessel that's a big deal keeping your science vessels alive is so important in a situation like this and it's going to be tough now. I mean, there's so many lurkers here. Really not enough siege tanks to push them back. And now without a science vessel, I don't even know if you can see them. Scan goes down for detection. And yeah, but the thing is, like, the lurkers are just enough of them to kill all of this off. I don't know what Odyssey does from here. Jinnam's just so far ahead. He's got excellent tech. And this attack is going to fail. So it's a three, three gas Zerg against one base Terran. I really don't see what Odyssey does from here. I think that's <laughs> might be someone on Jinnam's team. I'm not sure. And <laughs> really, Jinnam is being kind of wasteful here with these lurkers, just pushing them into tank fire. But he's so far ahead, I don't even think it matters. And this lurker is somehow within range of that tank, so he's going to get to shoot it. Another lurker moves up, but is not able to burrow. Tank is able to kill that off first, but I'm just not sure that it matters. What is Odyssey supposed to do from here? He does have detection again, but... I mean, killing lurkers with marines and, uh, you know, a quarter like that is just so bad. More hydras popping for more lurkers, and yeah, I mean, look at this. Uh, yeah, Jinnam is in no shortage of lurkers here. He's got three up on the high ground, I think probably four or five back in his base. Now, maybe Odyssey can push this with tanks. It's just tough. I like this idea. Trying to drop right now is probably his best chance uh if you can get a good drop in and maybe kill a drone a yeah excuse me <laughs> kill a drone line okay and he has actually built a command center as well so that's going to be pretty important if he wants to play anything of a longer game look at these drone lines they are actually very sparse so it's not like jinnam has a great mineral income it's just triple gas though here we go with this drop finding a base that's completely undefended so it looks like he might even be able to take out well, potentially this whole base. He's going to get some drones for sure. Denying this third gas is a big deal. Eh, killing the Evo Chamber is probably not what he wants to be doing right now. If it was upgrading, maybe that mattered, but I think he'd be better off just going after these drones. Now killing some of them. A couple lurkers coming in to try to push these marines out, and they do get burrowed, but the hatchery is so low, these marines should be able to just target it down, and this will deny that third gas, at least for a little while. Scanning kills one lurker, but the other lurker is able to finish off most of the marines, so 
This attack will not kill the base and will be cleaned up by this lurker. Excuse me, it did kill the base. <laughs> it won't kill all the drones. Oh, but this is sneaky. A couple lurkers coming in behind the mineral line, and Terran mineral lines are much more saturated than Zerg mineral lines, so these lurkers could do some pretty crazy damage here. Shots going down on them. Still no SCVs dead. Now they're starting to pop. Doesn't look like he got a ton there, but denying this mining time is going to be pretty relevant. One irradiate looks like it went on a lurker, but I'm not sure there is a second irradiate here. Oh, I think he actually just used it. So they are going to get cleaned up, but some SCVs killed and definitely some good value from denying the mining time. That last tank shoots the lurker down. Not huge damage, certainly not game ending. That is a lot of Hydralis, and yeah, I'm kind of surprised. Generally, attacking Terran with Hydralis is, like, not fun. Um, but when you have this many, maybe it just works. <laughs> Usually these are just for Lurkers. Uh, I guess with Defiler, it kind of changes a little bit. Uh, you can actually push into stuff with those clouds, but honestly, at that point, like, the Defiler is the good thing, not Hydralisks. That can be a very uh, cost-effective defensive army comp, though. But attacking with them is just not so ideal. Now, this hatchery is about to finish, so this is going to be third gas. Actually, well, yeah, he can put those drones on the gas, so should be a third gas mining pretty soon. I haven't really seen too much of what Jinnam's tech is going to be. I mean... Defiler, you'd think? Oh, okay, he's just gonna drop, sure. Well, Hydra's getting loaded into these speed overlords. And they are gonna be, oh, okay, dropping the base here. It's gonna be pretty tough. I don't see any siege tanks there to defend. There's a turret and a couple uh, science vessels, but this is a lot of Hydralis. These Marines probably not going to be able to hold off. The bunker is down now. And yes, everything is starting to die here. So Janem, very likely to be able to limit Odyssey down to one base again. And a bunch of SCVs are going to die here as well, which I think is probably the biggest aspect here. He just can't really afford to remake a bunch of SCVs on one base. Oh, I wonder if this command center is even going to die. It looks like the CC is going to be saved. And not all the SCVs are going to die. This tank up on the high ground is being quite the hero unit. Keeping what alive what he can. <laughs> SCV trying to build a bunker. Some Marines and Medics being dropped on the island here. It looks like this should get cleaned up now. But the damage was definitely there. Now, some of those SCVs live, which is pretty good for Odyssey. He's going to retain some of that economy. But he definitely did lose a lot. And just Hydra's lost for Jinnem. Haven't seen any inkling of a fourth from Jinnam. I think that's probably something he could do it pretty soon. Oh boy, there's actually an engagement up here on the high ground, and those two lurkers getting quite a bit of damage done. Dropping a marine on top of the lurker and then targeting it with the tank. He is able to kill off that lurker without any detection, so that's something. Always funny to see moves like that. Uh, often it's for a Dark Templar. Is what I'll see that sort of strat used to kill most, but definitely works for lurkers. <laughs> she didn't hide her face, so I guess she wasn't supposed to be in school right now. <laughs> okay, Greater Spire is the choice. I mean, I think there's no wrong choice, so to speak. Like, Guardians on the high ground is probably going to be able to win this game. Um,. But I, I, I don't know. I just think the filers are so good. Oh, man. This is so annoying. For Odyssey, having this mineral line harassed again by just two lurkers. And now with, you know, his SCV count. Sorry. The mineral count in the main being low. The SCVs are even more stacked. So more kills for these lurkers. Even harassing the natural as well. So... Not even sure if there is mining really going on for Odyssey right now. It looks like the lurkers behind the main are cleaned up, but this lurker here behind the natural is still alive and actually hitting a tank. Now, luckily for that siege tank, there is detection there now, so he will be able to kill that lurker off. 
More Hydras moving into position, perhaps for another drop. Kind of just massing out in front of Odyssey's base. So we'll see what the plan here is. I think dropping them makes sense. You know, that the, I suppose we'll call it the natural, <laughs> is really Odyssey's last real source of income. The main is mostly mined out. So going after that space would be definitely more backbreaking economically, but the main has all the production. So really taking out either one of these bases is pretty big. Now, a lot of lurkers running in and burrowing right next to these barracks, but not really in range of the tanks. So I suppose a slight potential for this to be held, but it does not look like it's gonna happen. Just so much Zerg here attacking into Odyssey's base, taking out his production now. And like I was saying, it really it could have been either one, either of these bases, they were both necessary. It's the income in one and the production in the other. I guess it's more game ending to get on top of Terran production. It could potentially lift off the CC and put it somewhere else. So maybe this is a little more of a decisive move. I don't think it really mattered. That was just a big army to attack with and a very st uh, spread thin Terran. Now with these siege tanks, he was actually able to kill most of the units here. So the attack is held for now. The problem is, well, yeah, right there. There's a, <laughs> there's another army massing up already. Looks like that natural was mined out. Three mineral patches is not very many, so it didn't take very long. Maybe there's smaller patches too. It's definitely possible. More Hydras running through the middle of the map here. I think they're probably just going to go to the main again. Generally hitting the same place twice works better than trying to attack different areas. Probably had a few siege tanks up over at the second base just to defend that. And those are probably still there, but the main really did lose everything. It's one Marine off on a solo mission looking for something he can do, but... Not really finding much. He did kill a drone, so maybe that will deny base for a little while, actually. I kind of think that Janem would just expand bottom right, though. That makes more sense to me in this sort of situation. Or really just for Zerg in general. Maybe, yeah, I don't know. Top right doesn't make sense. <laughs> uh, I think we're going to see some Guardians morphed here soon. Uh, Greater Spire should be done by now. Yeah, Odyssey's main there is completely mined out. And I think, is that a base he's trying to take in the middle expo there? That is the base with very few minerals at it though. So if that is what he's going for next, he's actually just going to have to secure another base pretty quickly after that. I suppose he could lift off his main somewhere. And yeah, we did see some, what I have to assume are Guardians morphing. Probably going to be able to end the game with those. Oh no, Devourers. Okay, both. Fair enough. Couple of hours just to protect the guardians. This is really what you want the guardians for, though. They're just such long range. These poor marines have really nothing they can do against them. And now with devourers out, I guess to kill. Yeah, I don't know. I think devourers suck. <laughs> Should just build scourge. That's the truth of it. Uh, but is what it is. Now some good irradiates going down on the guardians, and really just not microing is Jinnam. So. Definitely taking more damage than he needs to from them. But I think it probably doesn't matter. Actually, all the Guardians will die, so just the Devourers left. They do kill off that last Cloak Wraith. So I guess this attack is held. Not a great attack, honestly. This, this is part of why I don't like Greater Spire. The units just kind of suck. But, I, I mean, Guardians certainly have their role. And I think if you protect them and micro them you know keeping them alive helps they can uh end the game for you but yeah Gen uh, excuse me odyssey is pushing with this army this is actually a decent sized force maybe jinnam is gonna get caught a little out of position here it's possible i mean killing the the main you know killing the hive plus the greater spire could actually swing this game potentially if the only units Jinnam really has access to are Hydra units, it's possible that he just won't be able to push through a siege tank army. I, I'm, I don't know. I feel like I'm grasping at straws here for Odyssey, but yeah, it, it, I suppose it could happen here. He, he might be able to kill off the main and then just defend this high ground with siege tanks and maybe defend his base at the same time. 
At that point, he would need to get more bases, but I guess it's possible. Defense Matrix on that tank, but really just chewed through so fast. And a bunch of Hydras are up here. Looks like this army is just going to get wiped out. One Siege tank left, fighting valiantly, but look at all this Zerg. Just not going to be enough, and this army is cleaned up. Two medics and a tank are not going to cut it here. And was that GG just called? No, I don't think so. Odyssey will continue fighting on. I mean, as long as he's still got the production buildings plus that one base, like that one mining base, he can keep playing. It's not like Jinnam has a huge economy here, so maybe. <laughs> I think you're definitely betting on Jinnam just making some horrendous mistake at this point. But it's happened. I mean, I've seen some pretty insane throws watching StarCraft. This is a very punishing game. Uh, sometimes that poor SCV definitely got punished. Oh, that was actually just a bunker that died. Even still, annoying. Hunter Minerals is, is kind of real at this point in the game. Not a huge Hydra army, honestly, for Jin Nam. Like, he's just building the most inefficient units. For attacking so it, his attacks are not really finishing the game like they could be lurker drop here but they're actually gonna get cleaned up pretty efficiently so i mean overall probably a win there for odyssey maybe lost a couple scvs or marines but like whatever more lurkers running in on this position but the bunker is gonna help a lot with siege tank behind it looks like there's just so much zerg still like, attacking with Hydras is really inefficient, but you, you really do need more than one Siege Tank at a position like that if you want to hold it against Lurker, plus, like, a control group and a half of Hydras. So, that is wiped out. Janem reclaiming the space, and then loading some Hydras into his Overlord. It's gonna drop on the high ground and go after the mining base, it looks like. Looking at what he's got, so this is one base that's mining pretty healthy, and then the top right base is pretty healthy too. So he's got two full mineral bases. Oh no, nothing here to protect these tanks. The Hydras are just going to get dropped on top of them, and they're probably going to kill each other more than anything. Ah, uh, that's so rough. Tough to defend it now. Two siege tanks dying for free. Those were very important siege tanks. I think actually those two tanks had basically repelled like the last three attacks into the main. They were shelling from the high ground and also defending the natural at the same time. Some Marines getting dropped up on the high ground here. And maybe some slightly ambitious lurker morphing going on. I don't think those are going to finish. Yeah, no no, uh, no Hydras to protect them anymore. Now, Marines do take forever and a day to kill a lurker egg. So maybe one of them can actually finish here? It's possible. I don't think both will looks like the siege tank is doing enough damage and yeah one does finish this is a pretty clump scv line maybe he can get something done here one more shot from basically anything will kill them and i think the race actually came in and finished those off so this is going to be another repelled attack but it was pretty costly losing those siege tanks was really painful for odyssey here he does save this base though so he's going to keep mining he retains an economy not a great one, but it, it is an economy. <laughs> I think it was only one as, or drone mining gas there. Kind of surprising. Oh, so this one's getting kind of long. Um, Okay, and this is actually pretty relevant. The Vulture scouting this base up the top right. It is going to be able to do some good harassment. And now a siege tank rolling up here as well, so... If nothing's sent over to deal with that, it will be a denied base, and at that point we'd be in one base against one base. I mean, honestly, like, Terran's economy is better in that sort of situation. Looks like there is one Lurker here defending it, but I think the Siege Tank plus Vulture should be able to take it out in one scan. And they're not even actually going for it. They don't need to. The Lurker cannot shoot up. <laughs> Burrowing the drones, good move. No detection up here, so they're going to be fine, at least for now. But burrow drones do not mine, so at least at, for the time being, economically, this game is kind of even again. Hydra attack up here, the natural, killing off those marines pretty quickly. This one siege tank is going to go down as well. 
Is there more up here? Well, there's more Zerg, apparently. A couple lurkers burrowed behind the mineral line here. So we're looking at one player who's not mining at all and one player with one base. So that's a pretty big disadvantage for the Terran here. Now he's moved a fairly sizable force over to the left. Kind of far south. Ah, oh, man. How does he clear this out, though? Like, he just doesn't have the siege tanks anymore. And, yeah, Hydras aren't great attacking units, but when you just have this many, it doesn't matter. These siege tanks are getting some good kills here. So, like, this is a good for him, but uh, this situation is just really rough. <laughs> Looks like one Cloak Wraith is killing off these Hydras. Not really able to do anything. Okay, so neither player is mining now. Both... <laughs> Both mining bases for Zerg have all their drones burrowed, and there's the Zerg force behind <laughs> Odyssey's mining base. The Hydras are actually getting pulled away, so it looks like we're just going to have an engagement. <laughs> kind of funny, both the mining hatches are being shelled right now, and yeah, I guess those Hydras are stuck on the high ground, so they need overlords to come and bring them over. This game is getting a little bit stupid. And in the meantime, looks like Odyssey is going to reclaim this area. Just those two lurkers left here. And once there's detection in that area, that one siege tank should be able to kill them off. Scan hitting those uh, overlords, so he doesn't know they're on the way. But I don't know. What, I mean, what can you do about it? Maybe he could pull the tanks away so they don't waste their shot on drones or something. I don't know. Looks like a Mutalist cleaned up that tank. But this base here is going to go down. The hatchery is dead. <laughs> Lurker is on the low ground attacking the command center now. Where did all the SCVs go? Looks like, oh boy, is that nine kills on that Lurker? That's pretty painful for Odyssey. Losing a bunch of SCVs is not what he needed. And we see an attack on this area. Maybe a defense matrix on this tank that could... Shell the Hydras? No, it doesn't look like it. There is a defense matrix there on the other tank, but Hydras from both sides are going to be able to wipe out this army, and GG called by Odyssey, so Jinnam is able to take it down. But honestly, that was pretty sloppy. <laughs> Considering the position he was in pretty early on in the game, I don't think Jinnam's actually very happy about that win. Probably feeling like he should have won that game, I don't know, like 10, 15 minutes ago. It he was just so far ahead, it shouldn't have lasted that long. But he does a, uh, he was able to clinch it with those Hydras and those Lurkers. So that's game one of Group A. I hope you liked it, and I hope you join me for the next one. Have a good one.